No, I don't like you either. Well, I've been as big as you and I've hit him. Yeah, I was furious. I was shaking with rage. R2-D2 was always a thorn in the side of C-3PO, but there was always a hint of love between the two, almost like brothers, who had been through a lot together, but constantly at odds. Inside those droid costumes were two actors, who were nothing like brothers at all. Inside R2-D2 was Kenny Baker, and his taller counterpart was played by Anthony Daniels. But like the professionals they are, their feud with each other never really spilled over to the public, at least not at the start. It wasn't until after the prequels were done that we started to hear rumors that the two didn't get along. You don't get on with him at all, do you? No. Why is that? It was just horrendous. I say, hello, Tony, how are you? I'm having a conversation. And walk away from me. So I want my, I want my hands on. I couldn't get less, you know. He never bought me a drink, never bought me a cup of tea. He never said, hello, how are you? Uh, now, sorry to hear about your wife. Then my wife died. In a 2005 interview, Kenny Baker said Anthony Daniels was always quite snobby with him, acting like Kenny was much lower on the acting scale. According to Kenny Baker, Anthony Daniels saw him more as a prop than an actor. Kenny said that one day after a convention, he walked up to Anthony Daniels to ask him how his weekend was. Anthony Daniels replied that he was having a conversation, although at the time, he was alone. This really upset Kenny Baker. The last time I spoke to him was him. Boston, and he was in front of me. I said, Do you have a nice weekend, Tony? He said, I'm having a conversation. I walked away. He wasn't talking to anybody. I said, what could have hit him? If I'd have been as big as you, I'd have hit him. Yeah, I was furious. I was shaking with rage. I really was, and I'm not easily upset. It seemed by the end of the prequels, Kenny was done dealing with Anthony Daniels. In 2009, Kenny was asked to attend a Star Wars event but said he would only come if his lordship, the one with the golden balls, would not be there. Well, it all depends. Depends on what? Well, whether you invite his lordship, uh, what's his name, the one with the golden balls, what's his name? <laughs> Anthony Daniels. Yeah. I won't know if he comes, I won't be there. But what about Anthony Daniels? What did he have to say about all this? Well, Anthony Daniels has taken more of a high road in public. Other than a few times, he hasn't really mentioned Kenny Baker. In 2015, while promoting The Force Awakens, Anthony Daniels did tell the Daily Mirror, I haven't seen Kenny Baker in years. His name is on the credit as some good luck charm, a courtesy. In 2016, when Kenny Baker passed away at the age of 81, Anthony Daniels tweeted out, Sad to hear of Kenny's passing. He went on to say that Kenny Baker was one of the truly original cast and famed for his iconic role as R2 and ending the tweet saying that he will be remembered by many fans. To many of those fans, this seemed like a cold-hearted final dig at Kenny Baker, or at least a way to dismiss his passing. In 2019, while promoting his book, I Am C-3PO, The Inside Story, Anthony Daniels was asked about the so-called feud between the two. From Anthony Daniels' point of view, the two just didn't spend much time together and had little interaction. What, what were you like, the two of you? There was no uh, acting relationship at all. There was none of this. But I, I did say to him, I do remember one day he was in the thing, and I said, when I say, typical actor thing today, uh, when I say such and such, can you turn the head and look at me? It's like a, and he said, well, you say what? I said, well, I said, um, and, and I said, y you know, he said, no. I said, haven't you read the script? No. I thought, like, okay. There doesn't seem to be one thing that started the feud, but it seems one thing early on that the two couldn't agree on was Kenny Baker's hope that the two would work together to cash in on their hit roles. Why don't you and I go out on more of these that, that we're doing now and we clean up just the two of us, you know? Oh, I don't do many of these. And that was it. They wouldn't even look at me. Go away, little man, you know. Kenny Baker wanted the two to go on tour, to team up and do convention. When Kenny brought this plan up to Anthony Daniels, Anthony didn't want to have anything to do with it. And according to Anthony Daniels, Kenny Baker didn't take it too well when Anthony turned him down. Kenny Baker once said that Anthony Daniels 
look down at conventions and the hardcore fans. But in recent years, Anthony Daniels had become somewhat of a showman at the Star Wars Celebration Convention and always seemed very happy to interact with the fans. Anthony Daniels never seemed to have an issue meeting with fans or doing conventions. It's just clear he didn't want to do it with Kenny Baker. The two didn't get along. There was really no one reason. Kenny thought Anthony Daniels were rude and unfriendly, and Anthony Daniels just didn't seem to want to put in the time to get to know Kenny Baker. Not much of a feud, but that's the story of the feud between Kenny Baker and Anthony Daniels. I want to thank you for watching. As always, please subscribe to my channel, and if you enjoyed this content, thumb up the video. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony.